Hi guys, we're going to do bargain store project number 13. Every time I look in my little bag of uh, bits and pieces, I keep seeing this beard trimmer set with this smiling face looking at me. I can't resist it any longer, we're going to have to make something with this. Um, I realise some of my projects have been involving using soldering iron and that sort of thing and I really want to make it much simpler than that just in case I can encourage my grandchildren to have a go at it. So I think we're going to be really simple this time. We're going to try and make a or another fan jet car but make this one very simple. Out in the street uh, quite a while ago I came across this. It's out of somebody's toy kit, um, so I'm sorry, but it wasn't obvious where it had come from, it was just laying in the road, so I salvaged it. And what I intend to do is take that and stick it on the front of the beard trimmer, assuming I can. So let's have a look. Of course, there's all sorts of useful bits that uh, I could use for trimming my beard. But um, that's not what we're going to do with it, is it? I did actually look at one of these once before, and as soon as I touched it, it virtually fell apart in my hands. It's really cheap and nasty stuff. Um, I think it just fell apart when I grabbed it. Let's have a look. Well, we've got a battery compartment, so that's a good start. We've got an on-off switch there. And I'm hoping... There we go. It will pop apart. Apart from the bit that flew off over my shoulder, there's our electric motor. So we can throw away all this stuff at the front. Probably saw half the front off, so that we just have the motor mounted there somewhere. Let's see if we can attach that. It's the sort of plastic that shatters rather than um, rather than breaks apart nicely. So, that's a little bit loose. I'm sure we can fix that with hot glue. Stick that back together. So I think if we cut it straight off the front there, so we can get to the motor easily, and that should be it. I always like to look at the ingenuity used for the on-off switches on these cheap things, and I like that. That's just a piece of metal that goes down and makes contact, and the, the plastic switch just slides along pushes that. I don't know if we can even see that. Let's have a look. There we go. Yeah, that looks fine. And then the actual motor itself, and it sits there. The contacts there mark up, line up with the metal plates there. Yep, so we're going to saw it off.
managed to get that so I've just saved those clips to hold the bodywork together. I think we'll be alright because that's got a bit quite a long spindle on it. So that'll go in there. Alright. Alright, I've clipped it back together, put the batteries in. inside there and we'll be in business. Next thing is to decide how we're going to fit the wheels and I rather fancy just hot gluing them straight to here. Well obviously the axle was straight to here not the wheels. That's a bit minimalist then we don't have to build a body for it. Just stick a couple of tubes Probably on the bottom there, there's a nice ridge for it to go in under there. And hot glue one on the back there, or front, which way is it going to go? Right, that's going to turn that way, that's actually going to be going that way. So that's the front, that's the back. Just have to find some suitable wheels. Right then, for wheels, I'm going to use these. These are the spools from a VHS cassette player. Um, obviously used to have all the tape on them. And it looks to me like they're um, heat welded. I can't think what quite the right word is. There's little plastic um, posts come out there that the ends have been heated over, melted over to hold them in place. So if I very carefully cut the ends off, it should just come apart, if I'm lucky. If I'm unlucky, then it will just break. So I, what I think I'll do is not video me doing it, in case it all goes horribly wrong. Let's just do one. I think that might do it. Right, I've cut all the little heads off, so with a bit of luck, there we go. So we have a wheel and another wheel. So I'll do the same to that one, and I'll have four wheels for my jet car or fan car. Yeah, probably better to call it a fan car rather than a jet car. Right, I will need to drill a couple of holes, one in the middle of there and one in the middle of there, because at the moment they have no holes in them. But these are okay. Okay, drilled me holes. I shall use this barbecue skewer as the axle. drinking straw to hold the axle in place. Right, need to make sure the front axle clears the fan blade. So if I make the tube for the axle a good bit wider, then I should be okay, shouldn't I? some guidance. And then we'll hot glue that there. Actually I noticed that the motor is slightly off centre, so it would be better if I line that up with the shaft of the motor. Okay, hot glue time I think.
that's the wheels hot glued in place. So we'll just uh, hot glue that fella on there and we can give it a try. Right, need to find somewhere to give it a test run I think. Right, let's see if it runs up the path here. Well, that looked like it worked fine. Okay, time for a summary. That's uh, my hair and beard trimmer. Cut the front off it to get to the motor. Stuck a, I think it was a helicopter blade or something, something I found in the street. Made the wheels from video cassette tape uh, spools. Uh, barbecue skewers, drink straws, just stuck them straight to the beard trimmer and that's it and it works. I must say that looks like fun. All in black, well apart from the green propeller.